Brown on Newswatch this week. Thanks to Judy Miller, Jim Pinkerton, Cal Thomas, and Kirsten Powers. I'm John Scott. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. Because we fought back, because we said it was wrong, because we weren't bullied by the Journal News, justice prevailed. And gun permit holders in New York State won a victory this week. Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Last night, the Journal News, that Westchester Gannett newspaper that managed to ignite a national furor by releasing the names and addresses of lawful gun permit holders in a pedophile-like interactive map, surrendered. The map came down. The reason? We decided to remove the gun permit data from lowhud.com at 5 p.m. today. While the new law does not require us to remove the data, we believe that doing so complies with its spirit. You're kidding, right? The new law doesn't require that you remove anything? Don't you love it when the loser tries to make it look like he really won? Like he's taking the high road? Like the decision to retreat was really a voluntary one? And oh, by the way, since you refused to speak on this issue for weeks as you hid behind your bodyguards with guns, what hole did you climb out of to wave your white flag? The truth? I think you're scared that the two homes you identified as having guns that were burglarized where guns were taken might have played into your convenient surrender. Even your own employees felt your newspaper put them at risk. I agree with you, and I, I am on your side on this, but I'm just wondering if that's not an invitation to somebody with a gun. But you're concerned that if you say you're gun-free, somebody with a gun's going to come and... I think, yeah. So why don't you just admit you had an agenda and you tried to connect gun permit holders to the massacre of innocents in Newtown and you put law-abiding citizens at risk. 